make a handout for services. Um, I use a program called Nicest Writer Express. It is only for Mac, it's 26 bucks, and it is great. So let me show you. Um, first of all, I like to keep a 50, um, 0.5 inch margin on all sides, just to give you a little more space to breathe and um, your text to grow. Um, let's uh, let's begin. So you make a table, and normally I just copy and paste from a previous document, but here's how you do it from scratch: um, one row, two columns, and um, yeah, you can see they have a nice palette over here. You toggle that on and off that way, but I always leave it on. And um, this button here just kind of pushes the table to the edge. Okay, we'll talk about borders in a sec, but um, here's going to be my English. So let's do that to the left and Hebrew to the right. And um, it's time for some content. So let's go to Safari and go Hebrew. Nope, Hebrew only. And there's our Vishamru. Okay. Shavat Vayina Fash. Okay, I'm Command C, copy, and then I go back here, paste. Okay, so you see how that turned up? Command A, select all, make it left. Also, this is left directional. So now it's it really wants me to do um, left to right. Is there a way to do this without trope? Ah. Vocalization, boom. Let's do it again. Nope. So Shavat Vaina Fash without the trope, Command C, Command V. Now we don't have to delete the trope automatically. Okay. And let's um, now it's right, um, right justified, but also it is Hebrew language going right to left. Okay. Delete, um, select all. Now we need a font. I like to use what's called SBL Hebrew font. Thank you, Cantor David Berger, my classmate and friend, for showing me this font. It is great, it's easy to read, um, and it's easy to add the meteg to the important um, accented syllables. So. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael at HaShabbat la'asot et HaShabbat l'adoratan b'rit olam. Beni uvein bene Israel ot hi leolam ki sheshet. So we need a met take there. Ki sheshet yamim asadonai. And we're going to change this to yud yud. And we can talk about typing in vowels. Nope. Another time. Et hashamayim. That needs a met take. Ve et haaretz. That needs a met take. Uvayom hashvi'i shavat vayina fash. Okay, done with met takes. So then you think about layout. Um, I like to do line by line. Vishamru at Bnei Yisrael at HaShabbat. That's a great natural break. So what I did was I put my cursor here. Command shift down selects everything below. Command X cop, cop, uh, cut. Command V paste. Okay. Lasot et HaShabbat ledorotam. And let's do one more. Berit Olam. Okay, now that's the end of the chorus. I like to do a period instead of a, where am I? I'm in Hebrew. Where's the period? There it is. Um, okay, so verse one, Be'ni uvein b'nei Yisrael oti le'olam. Oh, that worked out. We'll see in the English if it all sticks. Second verse, ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai. Let's do that break. Et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aretz. Nope. And I'm hitting tab to uh, to go to the next cell. Uvayom um, hashvi shavat vayinafash, and there you go. Now the lama is a little scrunched there, so I think there you go. You won't you won't really notice that when we're when we're done. I don't think. Okay. So you would put in the transliteration, and then for the translation, I like to merge cells. Merge cells right here. Can you see there it is? I happen to have the translation down here in a preset document. And there is your translation. So 
Um, what we didn't talk about also is I like to do a title, visham, oh, switch over to Hebrew, command, question mark, vishamru. And I like to use a font called High Tower Text. And let's make that a little bit bigger, like 16. And then for the title in Hebrew, I like to use a font called Hadassim. Make it a little fancy. And you know what? That's 20. Let's make this 18. That's usually my standard. Um, I will do Vishamru uh, in Gil Sands around. Let's do that in 14. And in 12, um, let's do this is Exodus 31. What is that? Um, 16 and 17. And let's just say it's, um, you have to write justify, but it's English, but it's right justified. Um, music by Debbie Friedman. Because who doesn't love Visham, Meru, Vene, Israel? All right, and let's, um, we're bleeding over a little bit. You see that Lamed's bleeding over, so we can make this a little bigger. One of the reasons I like this font is because it will, nope, everything will fit. Why is that not fitting? Oh, that's why. That's better. Okay, so Vishamru Vene. Yisrael et ha-shabbat. La-asot et ha-shabbat. Lidorotam. And you know what? I bet I could fit it in here. Berit olam. Yep, there you go. Now, why did this go back to 12? I bet that went back to 12. Let's make this 14. Beni uvein bene. Yisrael ot hi le olam. I'm very consistent about transliteration. Ki she shet yamim asa Adonai et hashamayim ve et haaretz. Uvayom hashvi shavat vayinafash. Let's make that. I tend not to do um, punctuation and transliteration, but you can if you like. And I realize this should be 12. Okay. So then you have your Vishamru page. No, we don't want to save it. Stop that. I don't know why that's stuck there. Okay. Um, now let's talk about borders and shading. I like to do it all without borders. So then for the print preview, you get this. And there's a lot of white space there, and you don't have the grid, which looks kind of nasty. And it, it's pretty easy to, um, to for your eye to go across from the Hebrew to the transliteration. If you want um, to show that this is the chorus and these are the verses, you could um, put a little padding in there. Oh, that's going the wrong way. How funny is that? Um, or you could do it this way. Just say position 0.5, just a little position in. Yeah, to help everyone realize that the chorus is by itself. Um, yeah, uh, the biggest work in all of this will be typing out the Hebrew if it doesn't already exist. Um, I have a master document that has lots and lots and lots of Hebrew texts typed in. Um, not everything like Safari uh, exists like for prayers and things like that. I'm just taking out the dash, the, um, dash here because ah, I don't like how it looks. Um, but that is pretty much it. 
and um, then you can take this. And what I really like with this program is you can just copy and paste, you know, like that. So this is one unit um, that's very nicely laid out. And if you do want to put the trope back in and you don't have the um, keyboard installed for trope, it's actually pretty easy. Vishamiru. Oh, I don't remember what the trope is on this. Um, let's look at the trope. So you go Vishamiru. And here on Nicest Writer, it is great. Look at this. Insert special character, Hebrew. And look at all of these. You've got the vowels here and accents, the tamim. Where is the mercha? I don't love the K whatever. <laughs> and there's a typo. It should be K-H-A, but it's K-A-H whatever. It should be mercha. I like using the C-H, but guess what? Boom, there you go. Vene. Insert. Special character. Hebrew. Where's accent? Tipcha. Boom, look at that. Yisrael. Hebrew, Ednachta, where are you? Boom. So there are ways of doing that, and that's one re another reason I really like this program is because it was built for this type of work in Hebrew. And um, you can turn off the dictionary if you don't like. Um, uh, edit, spelling, check spelling as you type. You can turn that off if it gets annoying. So um, that's how I do it. And then um, these are naturally saved in RTF files. And um, so I've started doing all of my documents as RTFs. Um, forget Word. Word is weird. Um, nicest Writer Express all the way. That's what I've got.